Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Uh, normally on Sundays we do International Sandwich Sunday, but today is the Super Bowl here in the United States. Now, last year I did kind of a sandwich off between the two cities that were playing, Philadelphia and Kansas City. A Philly cheesesteak versus a, a Max Z-Man sandwich. Max Z-Man sandwich one. Um, but here's the thing, in thinking about this year, there was a couple of hitches in the giddy up. First of all, I live about an hour south of San Francisco and about 15 minutes from where they play. Um, I kind of want them to win. So even though I'd like to think I'm not biased, you might think I am. Uh, the other hitch, and it's a bigger one, is that there's no actual sandwich that's tied to San Francisco. I looked on Library of Congress, archive.org, Google, and the best I could come up with was one that was from 1983 that involved Miracle Whip, avocado, and alfalfa sprouts. Now, I like alfalfa, sprouts, and avocado, uh, but there's no way that sandwich is ever winning a competition. Sorry. So I got to thinking, what can we do? Well, there are a couple of iconic culinary items tied to San Francisco. One, chipino, and two, sourdough bread. So what if we combine something from Kansas City and something from San Francisco and make a chipino Kansas City barbecue burnt end sandwich? So for the first time ever, may I present a sandwich of future history, potentially, Chaburnt. Uh, and yes, that is a reference to 30 Rock. I am going to attempt to make a chipino based Kansas City barbecue sauce uh, and then make burnt ends from that and make a sandwich from that. A couple of things to point out. Uh, one, I've never made chipino. Two, I've never made burnt ends. Uh, three, I have made brisket. And four, I am not a chef or trained in the culinary arts in any way, so this could go sideways. All right, let's get into it. So I have a Weber kettle grill. I don't have a smoker, so I use the snake method, which you can see there. Those are chunks of hickory, and you just light it on one end, and it acts like a fuse. So let's light some coals, get those bad boys going, put them on there, light the fuse, put it in a pan with some water to catch fat dripping down. When it comes to temp, put the meat on. All right, so let's make some pickled onions. First, we're gonna make our pickling liquid. Here's some apple cider vinegar, some kosher salt, brown sugar. I'm gonna heat that up till everything dissolves. Then let it cool completely and put in our onions. Now we just put in our onions and let them soak for a few hours. All right, let's uh, give this a go. We're gonna make our Chipino Kansas City barbecue sauce. Melted butter, fennel, onion. I'm gonna let this cook down for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna add in some minced garlic and cook that for about 30 to 60 seconds. Now some tomato paste. If I wanted a little smoky flavor, I could go ahead and caramelize this tomato paste, but I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna get smoke from the uh, grill. Now for some spices, oregano, red pepper flakes, mustard, chili powder, smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and brown sugar. Let's get that all mixed together. Now we add in white wine and stock, diced tomatoes, and clam juice. We'll bring that up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let it cook for a while. And just give it a little uh, puree. It's cooked down for about two hours. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some crab claw meat. Okay, now we're supposed to cut this into one and a half inch chunks. Now we add in our Chipino Kansas City barbecue sauce. Then back on to smoke for another hour or two. Oh yeah, coming along nicely. Okay, let's make our sandwich. I grilled up some uh, sourdough bread and we'll uh, just top that with some burnt ends, Chipino style. And to get a little more seafood in there, I'm putting in some uh, shrimp on top with our pickled onions. Okay, let's give this Chiburnt sandwich a go. That is tasty. Wow. It's almost like an Italian barbecue sauce, if you will. It's got the oregano, garlic, fennel, onion, but you're also getting those spices from the Kansas City barbecue that we put in here, like the chili powder and that kind of stuff, chili flakes. There's definitely a little kick of heat. Pickled onions are going really well with it. Believe it or not, I do want to plus this up. <laughs> and add some mozzarella cheese. Then I'm gonna broil it to get melty. Okay, let's give this chiburnt sandwich plussed up with melted mozzarella cheese a go. Oh, it's even more decadent. That is good. I love it. So I think the Chiburnt sandwich was a success. Now you might be out there saying those, those aren't real burnt ends. You didn't do it right. I know they're not perfect, but they're tasty and they are charred a little bit and they do have a nice uh, sauce on them, the Chipino barbecue sauce. All right, so the original Chiburnt sandwich, it worked. Uh, I was trying to meld the Chipino, the Italian flavors of Chipino and the barbecue flavors of Kansas City barbecue sauce and they came together really well. Um, then you put it onto thickly sliced toasted sourdough, which helped keep the sandwich together, and the pickled onions. That to me was like a nine and a half. Uh, plus up with the mozzarella cheese melted on it, that's a 10. So here's the thing. I realize it's kind of weird that I just rated what I created, so I'd like someone to independently verify this. 
So to that end, I'm going to post the recipe that I used, that I kind of Frankenstein together, uh, on sandwichesofhistory.com, my website. Uh, while you're there, you can sign up for my weekly recap email newsletter and check out some merch too. But the recipe will be up there and I hope someone tries it and lets me know what they think because I dig it. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely gonna finish that and I've got leftovers, so I'm gonna make more. Not today, it's too filling. All right, see you tomorrow. Go Niners!